You're going to be in the new Spider-Man. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Can you say what you're playing or no? I can't say anything else. Before Zendaya locked down a major role in the 2017 Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. Before transitioning from Disney star to fashionista, taking home a Teen Choice Award for style icon, making it on People's Magazine Celeb Style Council, and even inspiring Barbie to fashion a doll after her. You make me look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I mean, my God, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Before Zendaya joined Taylor Swift's Girl Squad in the video Bad Blood as the knife-wielding cutthroat. Before Zendaya called out a reporter for making Making racist comments about her hair at the Oscars. I feel like she she smells like patchouli oil <laughs> <laughs> or weed. Before the multi-talented beauty's charity work, book, and clothing line would make her one of the most admired role models today, with 49 million followers on her social media and a net worth of an estimated 1.5 million dollars. Can I just can we just have a second? Yes. And last night. Something monumental happened to oh me. Oh boy, tell us. Drake followed me on Twitter, guys. Wow. Okay. Zendaya grew up a talented young girl who stood out amongst her peers, literally. Standing at five foot ten in her early teens, she thought she might become a basketball player until her career as a performer took off. When she made it onto a Disney show in her late teens, she then branched off to do her own projects. Some worried she'd pull a Miley Cyrus as she outgrew her kitty image, but through embracing her biracial heritage and accepting the responsibility of being a role model to young kids, she was able to get the best of both worlds. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Zendaya prior to fame. Here for you on Before They Were Famous. We've also covered her gal pal Taylor Swift and we recently did an update on Selena Gomez. So be sure to check those out and as always let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Sorry, I stutter something there, but I film like 10 of these a day. Okay, we're good. Everybody in my family plays music, they sing, they do something. So I was always grown up with music in my life. Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman was born in Oakland, California on September 1st, 1996. The name Zendaya comes from the Bantu language of Zimbabwe and means to give thanks. Her father Samuel Coleman is black and comes from Arkansas, but after rediscovering his roots, changed his name to Kazimbe Ajamu. I hope I said that properly. Her mother Claire Stormer is white with Scottish and German ancestry. Though she is their only child together, Zendaya actually has five older siblings from her dad's side. So maybe that's why he changed his name, but probably not. Now her mom was a tall lady, I'm talking 6'4", she played basketball back in the day, and Zendaya's height, well it seems she took it from her mother. In kindergarten, her parents put her on competitive teams, and she was sure she'd become a basketball player. That is, until she sat down and started watching the Disney Channel. Immediately, she knew she wanted to be in entertainment, and it just so happens her mother managed the California Shakespeare Theater, so that worked out just great. Zendaya joined their conservatory program and got bit by the acting bug big time. Her long legs soon made her a standout and she began modeling in ads for Macy's and Old Navy. She also branched out and started dancing as well, learning styles from hip hop to hula. She joined a group called Future Shock Oakland and performed with them for three years. Her slick moves even landed her a spot backup dancing in a Sears commercial for good old Selena Gomez. While her career as a performer was just beginning, she started attending Oakland School for the Arts, where her father was a teacher. She continued to work on her acting at local conservatories and began landing small roles in plays. In November of 2009, she auditioned for a Disney show called Dance Dance Chicago, which would later be renamed Shake It Up. Standing 5'10 at just 13 years old, the triple threat blew producers away. How'd she do that? Well, she did her own performance of Michael Jackson's Leave Me Alone, which was probably what a lot of kids used to say to Michael. Oh! <laughs> she got the role, and her and the family made the move to LA. When the series premiered the next year, it became the most watched series premiere in Disney Channel history. The show was renewed for three more seasons, and in that time, Zendaya started releasing singles of her own. In 2012, she made her first Disney film, then had an opportunity she couldn't pass up. 2013, she joined Dancing with the Stars in their 16th season and became the youngest contestant on the show they ever had. Viewers of all ages tuned in to see the beauty show off her moves week after week, and she actually made it all the way to the finals. The publicity couldn't have come at a better time for the young talent who was about to release her own self-titled debut album. 
Yeah, this girl certainly works hard. As of her single replay, she proved that she was not just a sex symbol, but also a mature role model. She embraces making positive content for children and did so in her new Disney show, KC Undercover. She's really, she's really a good girl. She's really grounded in what she believes in. Along with the help of stylist LaRoe, she quickly established herself as a style icon, creating her own clothing line, shoes, and slaying it on the red carpets. In 2016, she announced that she'll be playing Michelle in the upcoming Spider-Man film. But shit hit the fan when people thought she'd be playing Mary Jane, but then it all blew over. And we're gonna have to see what Michelle's really about in that film. Because at the time of this recording, I got no idea. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before their fans. My name is Michael McCrudden, and we do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. We've done a lot of hot actresses in the past. If you like the babes from Game of Thrones, we've definitely done them on this channel. We've also done the girls from Suicide Squad, that's Cara Delevingne and Margot Robbie. And then we got, you know, the girls of pop. Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, way back in the day, we did Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande. We've done a lot of videos. Be sure to browse around, check them out. I'll see you guys in the next one. And let me know what you know about Michelle and Spider-Man. Who is she?